I grew up in Jersey my whole life. Do I have the big hair and the nails? No. But in high school, I did have the big hair. And I thought I was like the hottest thing. Like, <laughs> I did. I love to be, you know, very fashion forward. That is That's very adorable. you. adorable. You like it? I like that a lot. Do you even exercise? I haven't. Teresa, where do you get off having that body after three kids? Dina is a great friend to have, and I've known her for 13 years. You need boobies. I love you, but you need them. Poor Teresa needs need boobies. boobies. Caroline is like the mom of the group, and I do value Caroline's opinion. Once you get the boobies, it'll be fantastic. Like, I can imagine wearing this with boobies. I'm not fake. I don't try to be someone I'm not. Getting this until you get boobies. I want to get breast implants, but my husband, he's more of an ass guy, and he, he loves my boobies. Let's go see Dada. As a New Jersey housewife, taking care of my family is my first priority. My little girls are divas like their mama. They have to look perfect all the time. Hey, pretty girl. Daddy! My husband, Joe, is gorgeous. He's built. Hi, honey. He has the big shoulders, the big arms. He's got it going on. He's just absolutely delicious and juicy. How's business? It's all right. Joe is an entrepreneur and he has a construction business. He's very successful and he lets me spend the money. So, do you lock up the checkbooks in the safe? You know, every time Teresa comes, you gotta lock them up. <laughs> I don't think so. so. <laughs> Teresa is my source of comic relief. She does not realize how absolutely hysterical she is. You want to play boss and secretary? Look. Oops, do you want me to get it? <laughs> How much longer until the house is done? Till my dream house is done. We've been building our dream house for the past three years. We have a ton of property. I can even run around naked and no one will even see me. Come on, you can't do that in New York. That's a Ooh. Oh, look how beautiful. I am going for a French chateau look. I think I like this I'm gonna get my kitchen table. All right. This one, that one, or that one. Okay, table, 2,500. We're getting eight yeah. of these. These are a thousand each. Okay, and I want to get my bedroom set too. Bedspread with the pillows and everything is about $4,800. I want two of these. $8,200 each. You build huge, you need huge. Yeah, a lot of furniture. I have so much fun shopping with Teresa because she clearly has no limits. Armoire is five grand, dresser six grand, bed is four. So we're probably looking at around 21 grand. Oh, we're this is this. his set. Too many zeros. <laughs> I hear the economy's crashing, so that's why I pay cash. 120, 360, 120,360. And that's how many rooms? Only I want to fall off my chair. Or, okay. Bed. No. Well, whatever. <laughs> <took that number. laughs> Are you girls excited to move in our house? You like what I picked out? All right. What? That looks so beautiful. My whole house has nothing but marble, granite, and onyx. She likes opulence, God bless her. I keep on saying, do you want to live in a banquet facility or do you want to live in a house? Stop it. Money seems to be no object. She just sort of walks in there. I want this, I want this, I want six of these. When we tell them to make the granite piece, I want to make it as wide as we could. You want to go see your rooms upstairs? Yeah! I didn't want to go house shopping because I just skeeve looking at other people's houses. Come here, this is your room! I don't want to live in somebody else's house, that's gross.